Welcome, welcome back to the petrol hour, boys. Is the uh, little ding noise going on when I hit the mic button? Yes. Okay, I got to fix that. Um, one second, because I don't know what you're talking about right now. I, I got some medical stories for you, though. So let me just Fuck go fix. Yeah. Go ahead and fix. You go ahead and continue what you're doing. What you're doing. Let me let me go ahead and fix these oh, settings here. I, actually, I would I would like your, your brief opinion on this. I, I was just making a point where like. Destiny's trying to do the thing, oh, you're all retards for being conspiratorial. And I'm just pointing, I pointed out here that, like, when you have no credibility, like, people are just going to believe in, in, in silly shit. Like, rightly or wrongly, people are going to believe in silly shit because you're illegitimate and you always lie. I mean, you can make that argument, but I'm not. I'm not going to cape for conspiracy theorists because oh, no, I'm not. I'm not, caping, how, how, I'm not caping for it at all. I'm simply pointing out that this is going to happen because you have no legitimacy. I mean, yeah, system's illegitimate. Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Fair enough. Uh, did that fix it? Um, yep. Do you hear the? No more. Bits. I said, okay. All right. It. Okay. Because yeah, I got I got my whole system set back up my my home system and I have to be, <laughs> I have to basically redo everything now. Multitasking bores. I mean, I'm not gonna. I I don't like Destiny either. Obviously, I mean, his whole position is I I am gonna be the most neoliberal shell out there possible, but. I'd, I'd, I don't know. I'd, I'd be somewhat it just... bemused if, if uh, I'd be somewhat bemused if you suddenly started going that Destiny guy. You know, some points he makes. He, he's got he's got some he's got some ideas. He's got some he's got some ideas there. <laughs> no, it's just, I, I my position is always when there's a re, uh, a retard slap fight to not root for either of the retards. Like you may you may observe the retards mm. engaging in the slap fight, but I'm not gonna say that retard is definitely better than the other is they're all retards. I just I don't know. Well I mean that's the system's my, illegitimate. My whole, my whole like, I, don't, I, don't, like... I don't I don't I I don't if the system's illegitimate, I don't have to have a sliding spectrum of who is better on the on the sliding scale of retardation. Well, my whole thing though here is like, is it like stupid or liar for in 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 terms of destiny? Like, do you genuinely not understand like the dynamic that's taking place, or and this is much more likely, you do understand what's going on, and you're just using it to like push your your retarded views for the dumb sheep who enjoy your content. Well, we know he know we know that he knows what's going on because he calibrates how his talking points to whoever whoever he's debating with i mean because he's debated so many different people and we know he's been disingenuous in different debates uh, because he re he ha he'll entrench himself into a temporary position yeah. depending on who he's talking to so i mean so obviously we know he knows so yeah, well, that's what I mentioned I just... on the on on the next reply to him, where he says like, "You're anyone who says like big slash like anyone who says like you know big business, big industry, big farm, anyone who says that is just a fucking retard." And uh, so my reply to that. Okay, is, so 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 what he's saying? Okay, so what he's saying is there is that systemic critiques are illegitimate. Yes. Which, which is that uh, that's one of his tactical nihilistic positions, basically. Which is why I pointed because, out I pointed out one no. of his tactical nihilistic positions in reply. Remember, this is the guy who said corporate donations have no effect on political outcomes. Then couldn't explain exactly why corporations make them. This is unfortunately why he's really good at debating extremely low tier right wingers who don't have a comprehensive systemic critique of things because he it, it's actually very insidious what he does is because he denies that systems exist and a, there's a low tier version of right wingers that don't have an ability to articulate a systemic view of things and so his type of gish galloping actually works in tripping them up a, but if you if he argues with anybody who's actually knows what they're talking about, it's absurd. Like systems exist, systems of power exist, and they exert power in a systemic way. I mean, I know that's a, kind of a tautology there, but w when you stop viewing things through, it's just like naturally like that institutions that are just like naturally occurring and they're not curated in some way. It's absurd the things that he says.
Well, that, that's a it's a point that I've I've made before, like especially with people like uh, Destiny, uh, what like fucking disgusting predators they are. I believe that people can understand things on a level higher than they can articulate it, especially when you get like just for for most average people, like what I mean is like someone someone can tell you like I I feel what I just heard was bullshit, but they can't articulate why. Like, they know they're being lied to, but they can't put it into words how they even know that they're being lied to. That, that, I, I've, bring this, I've brought this up on your show before. That's the intelligence versus wisdom di uh, uh, distinction because they don't have the intelligence to articulate, but they have the wisdom to understand what's going on. Mm. And Well, that, that's the, like, when I've seen Destiny, like, just run over someone, I've seen Destiny, like, just fucking crush people who were making decent points, and then Destiny does his gish gallop fucking bullshit, and, you know, leaving the other guy tongue-tied. And I'm like, but you are a fucking liar. And, like, <laughs> you are fucking lying right now. And, like, the, your your opponent knows that you're lying. He's just umming and ahhing because he, he can't put the words together to talk about, to, to explain how you're being a fucking lying... It's not just the lying, it's the leering. It's the leering liar fucking bullshit. Well, he's effective what he does is because he's a he's an RTS gamer on Adderall or other drugs. Mm. I, Adderall's kind of a catch-all for what I mean, but mm. you know this this is a guy who well, does is too. frequently. Well, that's what I'm saying. That this is a guy who's frequently on up. Oh God, my son's going nuts. Uh, this is a guy who's frequently on some kind of uppers or some kind of stimulants. Who he he cut his teeth on playing RTS games, basically making quick second decisions on things, and that's mm. how he approaches debates. Debates are not an actual exchange of ideas and trying to... For him, they're not an exchange of ideas and trying to get to the it's truth. They're not even really blood sport. They're not even really blood sports in a certain sense because at least with blood sports, people are screaming at each other and some people are getting enjoyment out of that. Mm. It's He's looking for an opening to basically overrun his opponent's defenses. And just it's just a and that's all it, it is winning for the sake of winning. Mm. Well, like yeah, and, and, but, and, and, but unfortunately, but unfortunately, a lot of people yeah. are are a lot of a lot of there's unfortunately a large contingent of people that are find that persuasive. It's, you know that he he won the debate. Well, how did he how did he win the debate? What did he prove? Well, he made them look dumb. But what but what did he prove? Well, he made them look dumb. But that, what did he prove? But that's all they need. I mean, like he's like the um, he's like the like John Stewart enjoys, right? Like, like I I listen I listen to guy who mocks other guy, and and he says that person dumb. But if you agree with me, you smart. I much prefer to be smart person than dumb person. You, you know, like that's <laughs> it, that, it's that sort of like, yeah. That's it's a participation kind of effect. Uh, there's probably a word for it. I am smart because yeah, I just, listen to people who tell me I'm smart for listening to them. Well, it's, agree. It, well, status. It's, it's status. I mean, the, hmm. he 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 makes himself appear to be the strong horse, and so that that gives him status. And so people who are only persuaded by status go to the person who has shown that he has higher status. Hmm. I like that crazy cat gentleman put this in the chat like destiny will literally in the same breath say have you got a study for that and then say this is an appeal this is an appeal to authority fallacy he'll literally he'll literally do that like one after the other and not even yeah. blink yeah that's that's why I, I didn't, i've never taken a, a i've never taken him seriously and i've never taken a a destiny debate even with one of our people seriously just because i that's the nature of who he is. Well, that, but that, unfortunately, that corporate donation this, one, this, that, was, that was Mike. Yeah. Uh, that was Mike that got him on that. And he said, oh, he, I know. Oh, I know. Because yeah. I, re I, re I remember watching that debate. Yeah. I know. Well, um, so, <laughs> I just... yeah, for, for the audience, like it was Mike that that, uh, that that took place in. And because like Mike's, you know, Mike's not as green as his cabbage looking. He didn't, he didn't let, like he, he, he was trying to pin. It's, it's like, if, if you ever like tried to hit a cockroach and you only get one of its legs and the fucking thing like spins around like a top. Like that's what Destiny was doing. I fucking got him on that one. He goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, hold on!" But, but, Destiny's giving. Me, no, I want to move on to the next thing. I want to move on to the next thing. No, no, no. You, but, you. By the way, speaking, of the, uh, speaking of the <laughs> speaking of the Mike debate, one of my favorite moments from that is where Mike pointed out that ISIS, uh, ISIS has never gone after Israel, mm. and 
Destiny had an example, but if you actually look at the example he cited, the PLO denied that had anything to do with ISIS. Wow. It was it, it was denied by Pell. It, it, it's such a minor thing, but uh, it, because my I mean Mike didn't again like he throws the stuff out here. Mike didn't have the capacity to just look the, to yeah. look this but up. That, but then it doesn't matter that fly, Destiny but, was wrong because the debate's yeah. over now. Yeah, yeah. It, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't but, matter that like what he said was bullshit. It, you know, like it's over. It's done. <laughs> Plus, like, w does does one example even prove? I mean, like, really, is like one example of a random attack in israel prove that isis it like, does like, mis like considering that isis was basically mysteriously camped uh near mm -hmm. the is uh They're israel border close enough to, that wounded isis soldiers are yeah. literally getting medi back to israel <laughs> hospitals and and, and, and and you know we're told constantly that muslims are fanatically anti-israel across the board and somehow this group that is the most muslim of all muslims as we're told mm. doesn't attack israel that's not weird that's not that's not head scratching at all. Doesn't, but I yeah. guess we can't talk about that anymore because Israel, the the, uh, the whole ISIS op has been rolled up. So whatever, that's in the past. Now it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The Destiny cited an example. That even the PLO uh, said like, no, that wasn't ISIS. Yeah, but uh, yeah, as you said, like, does one example prove the rule? Well, it, it does if it benefits my argument, but it doesn't if it benefits your argument. You know that that you know that's how it be. I, I hate you, Rambot. You got me into a uh, into a discussion. Yeah, I on, know. Um, I Destiny. dragged you into it, didn't I? Kicking and screaming. The, the, with, with drama and stuff, it, it's always it's always like just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back well, in. I don't I don't consider Destiny to be like talking about Destiny isn't really drama shit anymore because like Destiny. Oh, I, I, Destiny I, th I think he is drama shit because he doesn't. He's not an intellectual. Uh, he doesn't have ideas. He's not. Yeah, but, he's not a debater. Okay. He's not anything other than a drama. No, what he is he just, though. Like, fights people what, he, what he is though is like as I put exactly it, exactly. He's not political. He's his whole purpose is to break political people. That's his whole purpose. No, no, he no. is a regime. Yep. He's, he's a, a regime regime flunky to break political people. Well, that's why, I like that's the site. I, I like the talking point. He's more, than drama. he's more than drama. He's a fucking commissar for the system, and so he is. But that's worth that's the purpose about. of drama. The purpose that's of drama point. is to break is to break people of their political instincts. That's the purpose it's of a drama. Waste your time. It's, it's just it's a waste of time. This flat Earth conspiracy vax shit. It's a waste of fucking time. And the conservative gatekeepers like this. That's what they do. <laughs> All right, but hang on. You, and even, you, you, and you, got, you, got, and you got me talking about it, and now right. I'm worked up, one and more, now I don't remember more, what the medical like, story is. One more, one more, sir, please. It's wafer thin. It's wafer thin. I did score one. Okay. I, I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think you'll laugh at this one, Borzoi. Destiny claims that, like, simply by interacting in things, you trust with them, right? So here's, here's, his, here's his hot take. You trust dozens of institutions every time you swipe a credit card. You're trusting computer chip manufacturers, ISPs, electric companies international banking systems currencies and governments right so if you if you use something you're trusting in it right so i said one third of black men will place complete trust in the justice system and prison system for at least five years of their life i have critiques of society yet i live in a society exact amount yeah, I, 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 I i get it I get because it. i have to use electronic banking that means i trust every single fucking jewish institution that's involved in that completing that transaction it was such it's such a fucking gobsmacking retarded argument i'm like come on destiny bro like sometimes you come out with ones which even your own audience are like uh <laughs> <sighs> You always do. You always do this to me, Rambot. I just want to pop on to give you a funny anecdote, and here I am talking about shit that's just making me mad. When life gives you borzoi, you make borzoi aid. Borzaid. Borzaid. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC. Remember to like and subscribe.